He spent 37 years in prison for a rape and murder he did not commit. But now he can't get his fair compensation for that wrongful conviction. Reporter Mike Veselinda shows us the changes in the works to fix that. 55-year-old Robert Dubois has been walking the halls of the state capitol seeking compensation for 37 years he spent behind bars that has been ruled a wrongful conviction. Dubois has maintained his innocence the entire time. Well, you just got to keep your faith. That's what it's about. You got to have patience. It's easy to get in there, but it's hard to prove your innocence after you're there. His problem? He'd previously been sent to prison for nonviolent felonies, and under Florida law, anyone wrongly convicted seeking compensation must have had a clean record. An incredible story. GOP State Senator Jeff Brandis has filed legislation waiving the clean hands provision for Dubois. Are we taking portions of their life as the state? Then they should be compensated for that wrongful conviction. State law sets the compensation for wrongful convictions at 50000 a year. That's $1.85 million for Mr. Dubois. And this week, Robert met with lawmakers, including Senate Democratic leader Lauren Book. He was describing how he helps feed the homeless. So what I did is I started making bag lunches. When she asked... How do you stay so positive? It's that too. In 2020, lawmakers waived the cleaned hands requirement for Jacksonville's Clifford Williams. And what would you do with almost $2 million that they provide? Well, I would get me a house, which I've never had, and um, just concentrate on the future. Just invest and try to, try to keep pushing forward. And even if the money comes through, Dubois tells us he's going to keep working. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Massalinda, Channel 4, the local station. Since his release last fall, Dubois has been working as a handyman, doing small construction and maintenance projects. The legislation also apologizes for the wrong and provides Dubois with 120 hours of trade school or college for free at a state institution.